to the Hankster's Hot Rods Collective Car Showroom located here in Daytona Beach. We are not a consignment dealership. We own all the cars in our inventory. So when you're dealing with us, you're dealing directly with the seller. If you're watching this video on YouTube, please be sure to check out our website, hangsters.com. This is where you can find all of our most current recent inventory. If it's not on the website, then the car is no longer available. We leave up our YouTube videos at all times for you guys to view in any given time. So today we have to present to you a 1991 Pontiac Trans Am. This one so happened uh, to have a 305 tune port injection motor with the WS6 package, uh, power steering, power brakes, and AC. As we creep into the 80s vehicles and even into the 90s vehicles, obviously there's a lot more motor crammed under the hood than there was in the 60s and the 70s, that's for sure. <laughs> So as you can see, the car is a black convertible. It's going to have the pop-up headlights there in the front, of course, and we will see if those function later on in the test drive presentation. Uh, Kumo radial tires on the vehicle, a WS6 performance package logo there on the driver's side front fender along with the Trans Am, uh, the iconic Trans Am bird logo, uh, dual mirrors painted the same color as the car. Front windshield glass is in very, very good shape. Uh, same thing with all the glass on the car. We'll show you that later on in the still photos. As you can see, the top is down at this point. It does have the Trans Am logo down there on the rocker panel. It's going to be the same on the passenger side as well. Uh, taking a look into the car, you have your uh, beige leather interior, or saddle color, whatever you want to call it. Uh, dashboard's in excellent condition. Uh, overall quality interior is very good. You can see in the rear there, I don't know what happened to the rear seat. There's some ripples in the leather in the rear seat. Um, all the other leather in the car is in pretty good condition. Uh, you'll see the uh, ripples again in the still photos. Dashboard is in great shape up there. Center console is in pretty good condition. You do have some faint cracking at the top of the uh, steering wheel there uh, due to the Florida sun. Florida sunshine shining through the front windshield and uh, kind of drying that out there. Door panels are in good shape uh, on both sides. We'll show you the passenger side here in a little bit, but the driver's side's in good condition. Uh, the mileage on this car is exempt on the title or TMU for true mileage unknown. On our website, if it is displayed with the mileage on the website in the description, it'll be listed actual mileage and the mileage will be displayed on the vehicle. Uh, if it's blank, then it, it's TMU, True Mileage Unknown, or uh, exempt on the title. Taking a look in the rear here, there's not much of a trunk, um, so it's probably not a good vehicle to take to Publix and get your groceries. Uh, we do have a little bit of uh, documentation, not really documentation, photos of the car during its little bit of restoration. There was a paint job at some point. The photos are not dated, um, so I don't know when it was done, but we will show you that here in a little bit. Both sides of the car is, are very straight, uh, both driver's side and passenger side. Taking a look into the passenger side there, again, you know, the armrest is in good shape, uh, door panel's in good condition, uh, the carpeting in the car is in great shape, the overall uh, condition of the leather is, is fairly good, except for that spot in the uh, driver's side back seat where we don't know what happened. Uh, some Clarion 6x9s in the rear door panels. We will see uh, if those work later on in the test drive. Again, you got your Trans Am logo on the bottom side rocker there, passenger side. WS6 performance package again, and your uh, iconic Trans Am logo. This car's always had a real sleek look up front in the nose area with the lights down low there and the front fascia is kind of a cool looking, cool looking car. So let's show you a couple pictures of the restoration of this car and then after that we'll take it out on the rack and we'll show you guys the undercarriage. So here you have your Pontiac 91 Trans Am Firebird owner's manual. That'll come with the car. And then we have this binder here. I'm not going to show you guys the entire binder but just shows you there's the hood off being painted. The car being painted at some point. Again, I looked on the front and the back of these photos. I did not see a date of any kind. Basically, the whole car has got one repaint on it. The paint quality now is a driver quality paint job. I would venture to say it's been done at least 10 years ago. 
uh, simply because it's you know it's a black car so it's going to show every single imperfection in the paint but overall the paint quality is very good on the car there's no uh, blistering no cracking no peeling uh, no fading um, just some faint scratches uh, throughout the car in, in areas there's a picture of the car with the top up front fascia off being painted so kind of cool you'll get this uh, with the vehicle and uh, Let's go out on the rack and take a look and see what the undercarriage looks like. Underneath our 1991 Pontiac Trans Am. Let me tell you what makes this car kind of unique for the classic car buyer, connoisseur, collective car person. Um, we are starting to creep into the late 70s, 80s cars, and even into the early 90s. And this car would be one to have that's going to go up in value. I get a lot of people that come into our showroom and say, I wish I would have kept that Roadrunner I paid $2,000 for back in the da, 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 da. Well, this is going to be one of those cars in conversation in the coming years, whether it's five years, 10 years, 15 years. This is one that is money in the bank, in my opinion. And let me show you some reasons why. Um, looking up at the oil pan on the car, it's completely dry as of right now. It's hard to see in the photos and the video because you got the cross member in your way, the exhaust pipe, it's black up there. but. I mean, take my word for it, it is. Uh, front disc brakes. Uh, frame rails on the car look good. You see the tranny pan is right in your face, completely dry. Uh, you'll see in the photos, I know I, I flipped through some of the photos on the car, but I could see that floor pans were done in the car, and they were done right. I mean, these are nice pans. They were done a good job, whoever did them. Uh, rockers on the car look good either side so as I started to say take a look at this car underneath when you're buying a classic car it's you know how mechanically sound is it and how structurally sound is it and this is one of those cars you know cosmetic items are something that are inexpensive to fix um, you know uh, imperfections in the interior you know into little interior trim components little sections of leather but you know the big work the, the complete paint jobs the floor pans the motor rebuilds things of that nature those are the things where you kind of run into expense so this car is already uh, turnkey in those aspects uh, you'll see drum brakes in the rear uh, you will see a, I think it's a 10 volt rear and uh, not leaking You've got a single muffler dumping out into dual exhaust underneath the rear fascia. It's a really great looking car underneath. Good looking car on top too and we're going to take it out for a drive here in just a minute. Um, I'm going to show you guys another thing before we drop the car down but I, before I do that I want to tell you that um, don't just take my word for it. We encourage all of our buyers to come in person and look at this car that they're buying or any car they might be buying. You know, Take a look underneath it. Take a look at the paint quality, take a look at the interior quality, look at it out in the sunshine, take it on a test drive, get, get a feel for the car yourself. With that being said, we do a lot of sales that are done sight unseen through photos that we do and video presentations just like this one. So we're very successful in doing that. We represent our cars as honestly and as accurately as we possibly can. But like I said, we encourage all our buyers to come firsthand. Financing. If you are not a cash buyer, we do offer financing on these cars. They will do a five, seven, 10, eight year loan, no prepayment penalty, 10% down at least. It doesn't matter what your credit is or what the price of the car is, they're gonna ask for at least 10% down. And then the remaining balance over five, seven, eight, 10 years, whatever your approval's for. Your approval's gonna be based on your credit score, debt to income ratio, price of the car, things of that sort. Um, so before I let this car down, I just wanna shit, when, when you're talking about a classic car and you're talking about whether it's straight or not you know some people may not know what that means well like looking down the side of the car you know are the doors all wavy are the fenders all wavy is there uh, subpar body work done to the car things like that so why this car is up on the lift a good way to be able to see that is when a car is at either eye level or above eye level and if maybe Devin can take a couple steps back um, and shoot down the side of the car. See how the car is nice and like the doors line up to the fenders and the doors not all wavy and the rocker panels not all wavy. Um, that's a good indication of some good body work, good restoration work. I'm gonna show you that it's the same on the passenger side. The passenger side uh, has a little more sun. We're in early morning here in Daytona. Right, if you take a look down the passenger side of the car, you can see, I mean, look at the uh, passenger side door 
pesticide rocker. Um, if Devin creeps up a little bit, you take a look at the front fender before it meets the wheel there. You can see it's all nice and straight. Good body work. Good restoration. So let's set this thing down and take it out on a drive and show you how it runs. It runs exceptional. Inside our 91 Trans Am, we do not have a horn. The horn buttons here are kind of warped. The center doesn't work. So we'll have to do something about that, whether it's put a new pad on here or try to put a horn button in. I'm not sure yet, but we'll figure that out. Uh, it does have tilt wheel. Uh, the turn signals are indicated directly above the steering wheel there. Driver's side, passenger side. RPM is functioning. I believe that 84,000 miles is the true mileage on the car, uh, but we have no way of proving that. But from what I can see, it probably is. Um, fuel gauge working. We just put 15 bucks in it. Battery's charging. We have oil pressure. And the temperature's starting to come up because we just started the car. A lot more to show you on this one. There's a 91, so uh, it's got power mirrors. I don't know if you can see that all the way over there, but the driver's side is working. Switch to the passenger side. That's working as well. Um, power windows, driver's side, and then passenger side. I'm not going to go all the way up with them, so we'll just have to put them back down. Um, radio is working. So that works. Car has ice cold AC. I don't know if you can hear that. But it does blow cold. Tops down, so we're gonna. E brakes functioning. What else? Oh, power door locks. Power door locks work. So let's take it out on a spin, see how it runs. The car has an excellent ride to it, it really does. There's no tire vibration, no hands on the wheel, the car's tracking straight. Perfect. 40 miles per hour is what we're doing and it's what the speedometer is reading. The response in the steering wheel is great. Side to side. Uh, no drivetrain noise, tire vibration drivetrain vibration, no vibration in the seat, in the gear shifter, in the steering wheel. Nice, tight, solid running car. Has good pickup. We'll take it up here and uh, run it through the gears a little bit. Show you guys how it runs out. photos of this vehicle today along with this video presentation that we're doing for you right now at full retail price we do offer shipping and a 12 month 12,000 mile powertrain warranty that is good at any ASC certified facility in the United States you don't have to bring it back to Florida or to Hangsters um, you have a hundred dollar deductible out of pocket the warranty company is going to cover the remainder on a, on a repair that's covered uh, 
be it internal components, the engine, transmission, or rear end. There is a warranty link on our website where you can read about our warranty and what it covers. We would love to earn your business, so please check us out. It's hangsters.com, and we are located in Daytona Beach, Florida.